Griffith. Rip Technoblade. Oh, wow. Did Technoblade actually rest in peace? That would be really sad. Dr. Jaja's in the chat. We got Grumpy J. Change back. Gary Koch. Got a bunch of our friends here. Good to see you guys. Thanks for tuning in to the Atlanta Brick Co. store tour live stream. I usually try and start the tour in a different spot every, um, every live stream. So this time we're starting looking at the Duplo figures. Yay! Bionicle, please. Hey, Zion, good to see ya. Thanks for joining the stream today. We'll go check out Bionicle. Really wanted to talk about how the fact that we have two different Winnie the Pooh characters available and two different piglets, too. Those are some of my favorites when I was a kid. Let's go check out Bionicle for Zion Cinema here. And Susan says, Will you look at sealed Star Wars sets and how much Bomb Squad Troopers cost? We can look at that. Corvette says, What's up? Good to see you, Corvette. Gary dropping all the emojis in the chat. You've got Grant and Vogan. You got Ed. You got Joe. Fun stuff. Fun fact, Winnie the Pooh is banned in China. Yeah, that that is... There's a political undertone to that, so they get banned. That's pretty crazy. How the Grump is everyone today? I like that one, Grumpy Jay. Good to see you. Thanks for tuning into the live stream. And we're over in the Hero Factory slash Bionicle section. There's not too much new, I don't think. I don't see any new big boxes. I do like that classic Bionicle set back there. I'm pretty sure it's pretty expensive. That's Jawler and Gucko. It's a weird name. Two ninety nine. Woo, that's pretty expensive, but I can understand. It's probably sealed. How much on the uh, Barman's Duplo? You're probably trying to say Batman Duplo. I can go go and double check in a second here. Doctor Jaja says, "Hey yo, hey yo, Doctor Jaja. Good to see you. Thanks for tuning in." There's Brother Steve. Hello, good to see you, Brother Steve. Did Aminar Productions come down last week or a week before? I think it was a week before. He was here not too long ago, right after Brickworld, on the way back down to Florida. Because I think he lives down there. Then, uh, yeah, Batman. There we go. Yeah, that's what Joe was asking about. We'll go check on that for you, Joe. Uh, Raymond says, hello from Armorillo, Texas. Hello, Raymond. Good to see you. Thank you for tuning into the live stream. I'm compelled to ask how the weather is there. We are currently experiencing a thunderstorm. You might even hear some of it kind of above because the roof is not super thick here. I'm definitely getting some thunder. So, uh, what's, what's a shore trooper go for nowadays? Too much, that's what I know. But we'll go check on that for, for you, Grumpy Jay. Let me go check out Batman here. Boba Fett versus Predator. Oh, I gotta say Boba Fett. He is a bounty hunter. The Predator is a very skilled hunter. But Boba Fett has just as many tools and tricks, and he's got rocket launchers. All right, so the Batman with black legs is $24.99, and the Batman with the blue is $14.99. Robin is $29.99. Woof! Spider-Man, $7.99, much more affordable. And Superman is $14.99. Catwoman is $14.99, and the Penguin is $9.99. The Jokers go from $24.99 to $14.99. Poison Ivy, uh, $29.99, $30. So, some of these guys are pretty collectible. Yeah, let's go look at uh, Star Wars for some of our other commenters here. There's Robert Maynard. Hi, good to see you, Robert Maynard. Corey says, hey, my girlfriend just started an obsession with modulars. Y'all still got a lot on the top shelf? We've got a few of them, Corey. We've got the bookshop way over there. I think we have a few built ones as well. A book built bookshop, a built assembly square, and a built custom one that Steven made a little while ago. Let's see. Quickly, let's check on Shore Trooper prices for Grumpy J. And then we'll look at sealed Star Wars sets for Susan. I don't even see the Shore Troopers right now. Because they would have been right up there with the Rogue One and Solo era troopers. I don't see him in the slightest. All right, well, let's quickly take a look at the sealed and certified pre-owned Star Wars sets. And the Bomb Squad Trooper. Yes, thank you, Susan. 
Let's see, a couple comments here. What up, Atlanta Brick Co. says Mowbree for Life. Thanks for joining us. I'm going to call you Mo for short. Thanks for joining us, Mo. Appreciate it. I went to an estate sale and got two Bomb Squad Troopers for eight bucks. That sounds pretty good. I mean, uh, a lot of Star Wars figures go for eight bucks, so that's a good deal. Mark, did you hear about Technoblade? I did not, Lemur Bricks. If you want to share that, that's fine. Just keep it uh, PG. Yeah. Uh, Central Florida is storming too. Yeah, sounds like the Southeast is getting some rain this uh, week. I'd like to see how you do pick a brick and bulk stuff. Yeah, we can uh, go over there and I'll explain the process. We have videos on our channel describing it too. So if you want to scroll back a little ways, you can find some information on that too. We look at the sealed Star Wars. Says, yeah, we're going that right now. Splatoon versus Fall Guys. I've played some Fall Guys and it's really fun. I haven't played Splatoon. But uh, I, would, I would vote Fall Guys on that one. Good afternoon, my fellow Lego addicts. Good to see you, Kinga and Jacob. I never know, knew those Duplo figs went for that. I know, right? I was kind of surprised, too. Those are $25 for a Duplo Batman figure. It's pretty expensive. Haha, uh -huh, I see you're in whatnot, too, Grumpy J. <laughs> Multitasking. I am. Yes, Grumpy J. How much is the Bomb Squad Trooper? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me check on that uh, one more time for you, Susan. How much is the uh, Duel on Geonosis? This one's kind of pricey because it's sealed. So $2.50 for a brand new sealed Duel on Geonosis. It's a pretty awesome set, mostly because of Count Dooku. You also have Poggle the Lesser. I wonder what Poggle the Greater would be like. You've also got Yoda, so that one's two fifty. Let's see here. A few more comments. Watching on two devices to inflate viewers and likes. Oh, thank you, plain old Grinch. That's awesome. I usually start one of our laptops watching the stream as well, just so that it's an extra one solid viewer watching the entire time. Let's see here. Grumpy J just uploaded. So I think it sounds like Grumpy J uploaded a video to his YouTube channel, so go check it out after the live stream. Or add it on a new tab, because uh, definitely going to check out more LEGO content from our friends. Um, Whatnot is an, is an addiction like LEGOs, exactly. Mark, when will Angie do another video about her village? She is looking forward to doing more on it. Right now, she's super busy with stuff in the store, but she will get to it soon for sure, because she is excited about it, and we've got the goal in mind of uh, next February. We have Atlanta BrickCon, and she was hoping to bring it to that, so... Uh, Patrick says, hi, Mark. Any flying monkeys from the Batman set? We can go check on that. But let me look for bomb squad troopers here. I'm pretty sure it's these bad boys here. So we've got one here for $11.99. I think we have some more in the back, too. So pretty cool. You still buying beanie? I'm not sure, Gary. We'd have to check on that. Probably get some store credit for him. But, ooh, that was some thunder. Yes. So, any new Marvel, specifically older Spider-Man? I don't know. We get quite a bit of an end, though, so we'll go check on that. Let's see. What was the first request? Um, Flying Monkeys. New Marvel. And Hercules versus Sun Wukong. Is Sun Wukong the Monkey King? If that's the case, that would be really tough. I like Hercules, but, you know, Monkey King is pretty powerful, too. Technoblade died from cancer. That's really sad. Rest in peace. Big fan of uh, the Minecraft YouTube community, so. Thoughts and prayers going out to them. How much is the dual genosis? How much do the bomb squad troopers cost? Yep, we got it. Poggle the good enough. There you go. I think you have the bomb squad trooper in the case behind you. I need to go to LAA, Lego Addiction Addicts. <laughs> LOL. Yeah, we should probably have a course on it, and at the end we'll be like, Psych! We've got all this Lego on sale right here! And then just ruin everything we worked hard on. That'd be fun. That would actually be a great video. I might have to do that. Alright. Let's go look for flying monkeys. And I think they'd be in Batman. But I'm not sure. Or maybe we've already thought of that and put them over by the other Wizard of Oz characters. I don't know. Oh, no, there's some. 
49 and 59, respectively. Oh, Zion's heading out. See you, Zion. We lost power here three times. Oh, no, Gloria Erickson. That's my mom. That is bad. Hopefully the power stays on. Have you seen the new episodes of Stranger Things? So good. I have not, but I got my Netflix reactivated to watch them. So I will be watching them soon. Let's see. Thunder only happens when it's raining. <laughs> That's a song, sounds like. Our freezer just broke because of a power surge. Oh no, Dr. Jaja. That's terrible. Hopefully you can get that fixed. Let's see. We got... Uh, Flying Monkeys, we did have. What else was there asking about? Flying Monkeys and New Marvel. Let's go check out New Marvel for Grinch here. So many comments. Appreciate the comments, guys. And don't forget to drop likes, because if we get to 25 likes, I'll uh, go talk about Nixon Nights for a little bit. If we get to 35 likes, I will put on the Nixon Night outfit. If we get to 50 likes, I will buy something that's Nixon Nights. So definitely drop those likes. It'll help the channel. So... LOL, Mark the Crazy Salesman. I did, LOL. <laughs> there you go. Did you see my win on the Brick Show Whatnot auction? That's pretty cool, Nexus. That's awesome. Less than three hours to go for the one-year anniversary show for Stud and the Dud. Oh, nice, Lumberjack. That's great. So three hours from now, go check out Lumberjack's channel. He's probably got some cool videos dropping for that. Hi from Norway, says Ryland. Thank you for joining us, Ryland. We sure appreciate it. Let's see, last year in school I got bullied for liking Legos because they said, and I quote, Lego as a kid's toy. Oh, that's terrible, Susan. You gotta tell them that there are millions of people, many of them adults around the world, who love Lego. You gotta, you can always be confident in that. So. I hear thunder in Sonoya, yep. Hello there, Mark. Hello, Nexus to Zach. Thank you for joining us. There's Corey too. Hey, Mark. Good to see you, Corey. Let's see, Raymond says, Grumpy Jay, I am like you. I am sitting here trying to figure out what to get with my birthday money in Lego. <laughs> you guys got that nice birthday cash ready to burn a hole in your pocket or be spent on Lego. Well, let's see. I'm not seeing a ton of new stuff here. We do have our Spider-Man restock, so that's good. They were pretty much empty last time. I see the old Tobey Maguire Spider-Man down here for $139. That's down a little bit from what he was priced at, so that's good. Um, you also have the old Green Goblin for 179 That's pretty awesome. So we got a couple of good old Spider-Man figures in here. Let's see here. Top shelf behind registers. Blue Technic card with price. Instructions included. Yeah, let's go look at that Lego Zombie. We'll go talk about that. I accidentally bid on a short troop for an hour ago, and now I'm taking the wife out to dinner when she gets off. Oh, no. Grumpy J accidentally bid on a short trooper. It's probably a good deal, but it's also, they can be expensive. So I know what you're going through, Grumpy J. Grumpy J dropping the next night emojis. We're at 16 likes, need some more likes. Any Minecraft sets? Oh yeah, we've got Minecraft sets, Lemur Bricks. Let's go look at the blue car behind the register for uh, one of the other commenters here. And Dr. Jaja sympathizing with Susan. The Susan, that sucks. Sorry about that, Susan. People are unkind but there's also lots of nice people in the lego community so this one is 329.99 i don't see any instructions though it looks pretty complete that bugatti chiron you also got a couple other nice technic vehicles up there too you have to take her out just for bidding at grumpy jay i want a 2005 kashik trooper for like 20 bucks that's awesome nexus that's a good deal Lumberjack says, yes, channel is stud in the dud for those who didn't know. Good to know. Well, Robert, I won it and it was $20. And now I'm just covering my brick. <laughs> no, $20 sounds like a pretty good deal. I think they go for like 30 or 40. So you probably got that at a pretty good deal. There's Jeffrey. Hey, Mark, can we look at Mickey and Minnie Mouse figs? We can. Uh, you not only bid, you won. Got it. This is Robert. Yes, uh, if you win the auction, that's the big deal. I was bidding one time on some stuff that Daniel and Chris were trying to sell that was mine from the shelves. I didn't win, but I did bid, and it was pretty fun. Maybe it'd be less fun if I actually won the bid. 
and had to keep that poster for $30. Let's see. Um, Mark, do you have any Mickey Mouse Lego art sets? I don't personally own them, but they definitely, um, we definitely have them at the store. We have several Mickey Mouse sets and minifigures. Here's the Built to Black Pearl. So it's $400, $399. Doesn't have any minifigures. The build looks pretty good. The only downside is there's a flag that's missing from the top, I think. And one of the little black plumes is missing from the back. So that's an expensive piece. I'm not sure how much, but it's about $8, $10. So. Carson Kenrick says, turn around, I'm right behind you. Is that Carson over there? How's it going, Carson? Thanks for joining the live stream. Appreciate it, guys. Let's see. Let's see. New roller coaster today. Yes, I was seeing videos on Instagram about that. That was pretty awesome. Let's see. Is that the Black Pearl? It is. Uh, Robert was asking for some views of it. So Susan says, the Malevolent you got in your haul video. Do you have that one out? And if so, how much does it cost? We can check. I know there's some Malevolent figures, or were some over here. There is a Malevolent figure. She's 20. I know there's also a Friends doll version of that figure as well, or that character, rather. Would you like to see a magic trick? Yes, what's the magic trick, Chris? What do we got? Right. As you can see, there's nothing in my hand. Yes. Oh! Crazy. Yeah. That's magic. That's awesome. You guys just witnessed some amazing Chris magic over there. <laughs> Let's see. Um... Mickey and Minnie were right up here. And I think we sold the ones that were out here. We need to restock them. Because we're low on Disney figures out here, but we do have more in the back. So typically we sell them for $9.99 and $7.99. So not too crazy expensive yet. Um, let's go look at uh, Disney art sets. Let's see here. I've been spending too much on whatnot lately. I think I might need to stop, but I keep finding myself hit the bid button. I've gotten some good deals on knights and horse barding though. Oh, those are good to get deals on, Corey. That's awesome. Yep, Carson was visiting the store and got to uh, uh, <laughs> join the live stream for a second. That was great. Let's see, uh, let's see if I can find... We used to have a couple of Disney sets right in here, but I think they have sold. We still got the Warhol, Marilyn Monroe. Oh no, here we go, here's the mosaics. So we got these bad boys here, 120 each. So we got three of them, four, maybe five. Yeah. So you could do some big Disney mosaics with that. No, Malevolent Star Wars ship, sorry. Oh, oh, oh sorry, yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, spell checker doesn't help anybody these days. Stranger danger at Carson, I kid. Uh, <laughs> no problem. Yeah, Carson was having fun with us just a minute ago. I think he's uh, just left a second ago. So. Let's look. Um, Malevolence from Star Wars. That one? Did that one get put out? Chris, did the Malevolence from Star Wars get put out? That dark blue ship? No, it's, uh, I think it's on the back. Table. Still in the back. We can go look at it. I don't think it has a price yet, though. Okay. Robert says, Chris knows all the tricks. Wow. What just happened? I blinked and missed the trick. Oh, there was an, a loud pop that came from Chris's hand and he wasn't holding anything. So maybe he can summon a little uh, pop of lightning or something. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen that case that empty. Yeah, sometimes we're a little low on some stuff. So Is, are they ready for the malevolence viewing? We could see magic tricks. The chat seemed to like them. Can we look at the animals? Yes, we can, Dr. Jaja. As soon as... Uh... Mark, what's that behind your ear? Oh, no. <laughs> nothing. There was nothing behind Nothing behind my ear? Okay. Oh, wow. Was it? Or was it? Wow, there we go. I thought you were going to uh, deafen me with your loud popping ability. <laughs> Don't egg them on, Angie. Is that what you said? Okay. Sounds good. Let's see. The malevolence should be back here. Maybe not. Oh, no, no, here it is. That's a pretty cool ship. 
Looks like it's in pretty good shape too. Maybe a little bit of yellowing, not bad. Maybe just that one right there. So that doesn't have a price yet. It'll be priced and put out for sale soon. It's in pretty good shape overall though. Some very nice sits here. I really like that uh, Dreamliner too. And that Cafe Corner and Green Grocer. Not priced, but they will be soon. And they're not going to be cheap. Thousands of dollars each. So. We owe it to Sam. He's been getting them set. <laughs> Sam, you going to get those modulars? No. No? Okay. <laughs> Just checking. Let's see. We'll go look at the animals. Oh, uh, Raymond asked, how is Angie's Winter Village doing? Um, I think I'll be ready to film in about a week. Okay, so we should have an update for you guys in a week, but uh, it, it depends on if Angie has free time, and nobody has free time right now. So, so. I have been so overwhelmed at work that when I get home, I don't want to touch Lego. So. Mm -hmm. Did you sell the Space Cruiser 487 that Chris showed off last night? I still have mine from when I was a kid. Great memories. I... No, we haven't even, we might have just put it out. Okay. Do we sell the Space Cruiser, um, Joe, the 487 set? The one that Chris showed off on the Yeah, screen? not yet. Let's go look at it. That'd be cool. Brick Lore, one of our super fans, was asking about it. Good to see all the super fans in the chat. Aladdin by himself. No Jasmine. So sad. <laughs> which minifigures are better, Ninjago or Star Wars? Ooh, that's... Oh, man. That's just like saying which of your kids is the favorite. All right, here's the thing. See, Grant put it out last night. Oh, no. So it could be anywhere. Could be anywhere. It's not where it should be. Oh, there's some space. classic space up on up there. Okay. Got stuck in the corner. Right, it's up there. Yep, that's it. Very cool. It even has the old school eleven ninety nine price tag on the top corner from the dry goods store. Wow. Amazing. Alright, where was I on comments? Um, Grumpy J doesn't seem to be grumpy. Every other comment has in it LOL in it. LOL. Do you have store pickup option? Store pickup option for whatnot auctions? Um, not yet, according to the app, because it just has automatic shipping. But we do want to do that because obviously there are plenty of people who live close enough to pick up stuff. So we're trying to get them to work that out. So that we can add that option for whatnot auctions. I think right now we don't have that, but I would have to ask Daniel to make sure. Corey, uh, Corey, save some castle for the rest of us. Oh, <laughs> exactly, Corey. Castle's getting rare. Dr. Jaja, it's evil laughs. Oh, yes. There we go. Morgan just joined. Good to see you, Morgan. Susan was saying, OMG at the back room. There's some really good stuff back there. Will you ask him how much you think it will be? It'll probably be a few hundred dollars because I've seen um, boxed versions of that set go for, what was it, probably $400, $500? So probably less than that, but probably pretty expensive. So, Has Daniel been selling everything on whatnot? The cases seem empty. I know, some of the cases are light. Some of them are pretty normal. We've added a bunch of new ones. We've added a bunch of new ones too. And while we're talking about cases, let me go over here. And we'll show off these. LOL, Iron Man on a T-Rex. Yeah, <laughs> that was something I put up this morning, and it's very amusing. But so we just got all these cases put here. Before, we had some uh, black display boxes that had minifigures in them, and they're kind of hard to see. It worked because we were able to lock them up. But now we've moved to our classic glass cases, and uh, we're really excited about that. We also rearranged where dimensions are now over here. We're going to put more out as well. We put, um, instead of dimensions being here, we put another Ikea case here. This is the Lord of the Rings section all by itself, which is very cool. And over in Harry Potter, we got a nice update with this case here. So it's all new Harry Potter space. So Harry Potter has its own section. Doesn't have to share a room with Lord of the Rings anymore. You got some more Harry Potter behind me, I think. Oh, no, no Harry Potter, just Jurassic World. Jurassic World and Minecraft sets, like uh, Lemur Bricks was asking about. So, golly, if we don't have a lot of good stuff and reorganizing and all that good stuff. Let's see. Uh, I bet that Vader's Castle will sell once it is put out. Yep, Vader's Castle is very popular. We're at 22 likes. Come on. I want to talk about next night's. 
I did talk about next nights in our last uh, our video that we uploaded this morning. The uh, uh, the worst Lego sets that me, Angie, and Daniel could find. Let's see. Favorite kid is the one that takes the best care of me when I'm older. There you go. There you go, Grumpy J. Mark, thoughts on the Lion Castle? Are you going to get it? I'm probably going to have to get at least one. I want to get two, but, you know, budget's a thing, and they're expensive. But I'm definitely going to get one. I think it's an amazing set, even if it's pretty expensive. Do you have the RX call from the day of the departed? Transparent printed arms. Let me check on that lemur bricks. Thanks for specifying. Let's see here. I don't see that one yet. We might be out of that coal. Unless he's somewhere special. Nope. Not seen him. Let's see. Oh, man, we just jumped over 25 likes. I can't believe it. All right, let me read the last few comments here. Um, I may have taken a few bids from Corvette. Oops. <laughs> Corey beating on Corvette on the Lego whatnot auction scene. Oh, no. I bet Joey's happy with that LOR has its own case now. Exactly. Lord of the Rings finally has its own spot. Uh, Waddles says, I'm going to go there. Yeah, that's awesome, Waddles. Hopefully see you around. Can we look at the animals in a good close-in at the Lord of the Rings case? Yes. Let's do that really quick, Do uh, Dr. Jaja. Then we'll go look at next tonight's. Because you guys earned it with the likes. Any new sealed Star Wars sets in? Not a lot. We've got a few over there. We looked at them pretty thoroughly earlier today. But, um, yeah, we are low on Star Wars right now. I think it's fair to say. Typically, we have a pretty good selection of stuff. Like, even we've even got some nice Lord of the Rings right now. But we do not have all the Star Wars stuff. We're low on Clone Troopers, Star Wars sets, especially stuff like prequels and original trilogy. We've got a lot more of the sequel stuff, which is a little less popular. Corvette says, Corey, no hard feelings, lol. <laughs> well, that's good. You don't want to be gr too grumpy like Grumpy J. Mark, I saw and heard the harsh words you said about my poor next tonight. Oh, no, yes. Well, I was just speaking my truth, Grumpy J. That's uh, next tonight's aren't so good for me. I know we, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with them, but, you know, that yeah, they're just they're kind of bad. Just really hoping they decide to put the new Lion Knights on bricks and pieces like they did with the new Black Falcons. Hopefully that's the case. Um, I've heard a lot of bad things about the new bricks and pieces system. So hopefully it's not so hard to acquire them. I definitely need a handful of them for my scenes. Could you please ask Joe about RX Cole? I will ask him. How's it going, Chris? I've got an important announcement. What's up? Um, this Saturday, uh, Grant and Bogan on Random Saturdays have a music video coming out. Mm-hmm. Teaching you how to do a dance. Okay. A they have a, a Lego dance video. It's a pretty big deal. Pretty big deal? Okay. Sounds good. So Saturday. That's tomorrow at 4, yeah. So. Yeah, wow. Nice. Okay. Mark your calendars. Got to check our channel out tomorrow afternoon. The new castle set coming out is like $600 and will definitely sell out in one day. I guarantee it. I'll be lucky to just get one. Exactly, Nexus. It's expensive and it's going to be very hard to find. So. Hi, Mark. I like the new cut. Oh, thanks, Brick Virus. Thanks for tuning in all the way from Greece. Good to see you. I'll make sure to go back and watch then. Thank you. Absolutely, Brandon. And then uh, always check out our website, atlbrick.com. You can find most of our stuff on there nowadays, which is great. So. Makes me more grumpy. Now I'm grumpier, Jay. <laughs> That's funny. Mark your calendars to see what you did there. Oh, yes. You can, I can always say I made my mark. Grandpa and little Vogie vids. Yeet. It's already Friday? That's crazy. I know. I need to... Time flies when you're having fun. But let's take a look at these awesome animals for Dr. Jaja. We've got some dragons, owls, bats, seagulls, snakes, cats, dogs, raptors, 
parrots, eagles, ostriches, deer, cows, horses, pigs, sheep. No goats. That's where the goats should be. You got chickens, cow skulls, skeleton horses, rats, scorpions, monkeys, crabs, lobsters, fish, all sorts of animals. Lions, tigers, bears, oh my, oh yes. So many great pieces. I gotta, I gotta come down there sometime soon. Oh yes, Corey, if you like Lego, it's worth visiting just to see all the stuff we've got in the store. I mean, it's it's crazy. There's a lot here. And we're currently working on some stuff there, so it'll be more full soon with awesome custom figures. So sharks and snakes, more dogs, cats, parrots, spiders, frogs, custom printed fish. Liking those a lot. Can we look real nights after ripoffs? Oh yes, exactly. Let's do that. Let's go check out Nixon Nights really quick. I watched part of the worst sets video and I would be surprised if Nexon Nights didn't make it on the list. Exactly, Brick Virus. In fact, it was on both me and Daniel's lists. So yeah. Snakes, why did it have to be snakes? Exactly. Get some Indiana Jones stuff in the in the lego verse we at least have the snakes even if we don't have the indiana jones sets available right now um i usually just get a tub of parts but i definitely need to look at the 20 percent off cases yes that's where the bargain is at i mean let, speaking of next nights speaking of 20 percent off you got some uh good stuff in the case here after the stream is over i'm probably gonna buy that one with some store credit unless somebody else one from the stream wants it more because I am working on a next night project that is going to need dark blue angular pieces. And you'll see why probably in a year or so. <laughs> let's see. Robert says, let's see next night minifigures. That we can. We have unlocked it with 30 likes. If we get five more, I've promised to put on the next night outfit for the last half of the live stream. So we just need five more likes. YouTube is feeling the worst pain. Oh, no. Is it like um, Technoblade and stuff like that? Or is it just YouTube the brand? Did I see a Little Red Riding Hood set? Um, Let me check. Let me check here. Let's see. I don't see it. But you can call and check for sure. Yes, Technoblade died. Yes, that was really sad. Join the Nexus side. No, no, Will Lamb. Good to see Ethan and Will Lamb and Gabe and all the other new faces in the chat. Thank you for joining us. Well, not new. I've seen you guys before, but new today, you know. Bricklink has very few goats for sale now. It's so hard to find the goat of Lego animal figs. <laughs> oh, yes, it is super depressing that they haven't made any goats for a while. It's really sad. Um, hopefully they make some more goats soon. I think that might be a contender for another emoji. We could put the goat in the chat. Mark, do you know a good way to get sets cheap? Oh, well, actually, Dr. Jaja, one of the cheapest ways is when they're already built. And then when they're already built and we put them on sale, that is the, the cheapest that I've ever seen sets ever. Like, for example, this bad boy is only 20 bucks. And then he's 20% off, so it's a couple bucks more off. So you can get some tremendous savings on some cool sets, so. And this isn't the only case that's on sale. All the other, there's like four or five throughout the store and there's a big shelf. So you just gotta watch, there's a short video that we posted last, earlier this week, beginning of this week, about what's on sale till uh, next Monday. Then we're, we're rotating the sale again and there'll be more sets on sale. And that's what you gotta look out for. That's the way to get them. It's almost as cheap as like whatnot auctions, so. Let's see. Cool looking Nexo King. Yeah, the Nexo King is a pretty cool figure. He's got gold, gold armor. Very nice looking. The queen looking kind of buff though. She looks like a chess queen. Well, let's see here. Let's go look at Nexo Knights for a second. Oh, this made my uh, top five, top four or five worst sets ever. But uh, you have to watch the video to find out why. So. 
32 likes, almost to me getting on a cape. Uh, let's see, uh-huh. Okay, Mark, I'll let that built Nexo vehicle for your mock. <laughs> yeah, if you if no one buys it by the time the stream is over, I'm gonna check with Joe, make sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna get it, because I need the pieces. 40 viewers, 30 likes. The math doesn't add up, people. Yep, that's right, Lima Bricks. We need a few more likes. I don't know what to talk about. Oh no! Well, what do you how do you feel about next nights, Ethan? Are they cool or bad? I think they're kinda bad, but kinda cool. I'm kinda mixed. Wait, my fault, I haven't liked yet. Now I've liked it. There you go, Corey. Mark, you have dedicated so much time on your next night's mock. It will be beautiful in an ugly way. <laughs> well, thank you, Brickfires. I hope it'll be pretty cool. I'm hoping to make next night's look amazing, even though I think that they're a little bit, uh, you know, not quite the best sets. Do you still have the Star Wars anti-vehicle cannon? I'm not sure. Let's see. I don't see it here, and that's the one from Umbara, I think, right? Is that right? There's a Corporate Alliance tank droid. That's pretty cool. Mark, your thoughts on Hidden Side? Um, that's kind of like Nexonites. It should have worked, but it didn't. It just didn't work out for me. I think it, like, scary stuff is super popular. Ghosts are super popular. Stranger Things is super popular. It's very much inspired by that. But uh, the app was confusing, the box art was confusing. There's a lot of problems with Hidden Side that uh, made it less successful than it should have been, I think. Oh, and we're at 36 likes. Oh man, that means I gotta go, gotta go put on the costume. I'll be back in a second. Lego announced the mini Disneyland Haunted Mansion set will look good next to the mini castle. Very nice. That's good news. I have to talk about that next uh, Wednesday morning for our Lego The Morning Brick news segment. Mark, can we look at the Speed Champions Dodge Chargers? We can. Let's go look at those, Jeffrey. Morgan, that would be cool. Yes. Good news, Morgan. That's awesome. Thank you for bringing that. Bringing that up and talking about it. So Nexo's average, not the best series, but better than Unikitty. That's actually a good point there, Ethan. Unikitty is pretty bad. Uh, there's not many redeeming qualities to Unikitty. I mean, it's cute and it's funny, but nah. Not working for me. Are Lego Dimensions set figures regular minifigures? They are indeed, Steve. Um, they're just a normal minifigure, same kind of quality. Just uh, they're on a base, and you can pop them off the base, and they're a normal minifigure. You can move, pose their arms, remove pieces. Yeah, so very glad that that's the case, because they could have been one piece all glued together, but they are not that case. So. Let's see, Dodge Chargers... Hmm, I'm seeing a lot of cars, but no Dodges up here. Oh, there's one, but the stickers aren't applied. That's probably why it's only $20. A lot of Nissans and Porsches and Fords and... There's a Corvette. Man, I'm not seeing any of them. There's Ferraris. Many Ferraris. But I don't see any of the... Dodge Chargers. There's a Camaro, an old Camaro. We might be fresh out of Dodge Chargers right now, Jeffrey. <laughs> oh, I see some funny comments I gotta get through. Okay. Saw online that y'all have a custom Demi-Gorgon, so I have to ask, have you seen Season 4, Volume 2 yet? I have not. I haven't even seen Season 2, period. Need to watch it. Monster Fighters is greater than Hidden Side. Absolutely, Brick Virus. Did you see that they don't have Rick for Alabama on the website? Yes, they're skipping it this year. It'll be back next year, Corey. So, looking forward to Atlanta BrickCon instead. Hidden Side is where my Scooby gang goes to play. There we go. That's a good use for it. My like requires Mark wearing a full Batman suit. <laughs> if I had a Batman suit, I would definitely put it on, but that's uh, on, the, on the wish list. There's Marvel Kid 25. What up, all? Good to see you, Marvel Kid. I'm going to set everybody down for a second. Sorry, guys. I got to get my awesome Nexo Knight outfit here. It's definitely uh, a little snug. I think it was intended for a younger audience. But let me get this on for everyone real quick. All right. 
Thank you for bearing with me. Let me straighten it out here. I don't have big mirror in here, so I have to make do. There we go. 35 likes. You guys earned it. Do I look good, Daniel? Yeah. I look Fantastic. real good? Thank you. As always. Yes. I look majestic. That is not what I was not what you were thinking, Joe? Nope. Let me know in the chat. Do I look majestic with my cape and my armor, or do I look a little silly? Let me know. Mark, I'll never use the word majestic for furry. Oh, I'm never going to be majestic, Joe? What if I had, like, a Batman costume? Would it look majestic then? Cool, but not majestic. Okay. What do you think, Michael? Do I look majestic? It's weird, but not majestic. It's weird, but not... Okay, okay. You like it. That's good. That's good. No, that, that they got 41 likes in the chat, and I had to put this on. For Nexa Nights. Yes. It's, it's a deal. I say, if you make it up to 35 likes, I'll do it. And so guess what? We're doing it. So, yeah. I, I, uh... the most likes any Nexa Night lover has received. I know, basically. I think I think this is the most likes Nexa Knights has ever gotten. Is... You got a cape, but I also have a cape. <laughs> you have your own, your own style going, Joe. Oh, Ant Bandit says, I joined just in time for this. Oh my goodness. He would be Batmark. I would love to be Batmark one day. One day. What's in stock for pirates? Let's go look at that. Can we see the most expensive clone minifigure y'all have? We can go look at that. I, I saw some for $80 over there. Hello, Atlanta Brick. Thanks for joining us, guys. Oh, Marvel Kid 25 asking about Marvel. We looked at that earlier, but we can try to check it out later. Have you been to the Star Wars shelf yet? We've been uh, a couple times over there, uh, Ryan. But we'll uh, see if we can circle back to all that stuff. <laughs> Mark, put on the suit. The suit is on, guys. Mark, where is your super suit? It's there. It's on. Oh, thank God, it's only this year. When is the Atlanta Brick Con next year? I got to try that out. It's in February, early February, I believe. So definitely check that out. And there's some pirate figures that we're looking at now. There's also pirate sets here. I joined just in time for this, says Ant Bandit. Yes, you get, you joined at the right time, Ant Bandit. This is a pretty hilarious live stream so far. Are you holding space sets in the office there, Mark? Actually, I think I have some of uh, orders in there. I have some other sets. We're doing some videos, so I have a couple of sets in there. Some that are going to be for sale, some that are already sold. It's a, it's a bit of a mess back there right now. It's snug because of all the Big Macs, young man. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's classic. Yes, it probably is the reason. I, I'm just a little too buff, a little too uh, full of Big Macs here. Next what not special item will be your worn next to cost. Oh man, that's this is priceless. They would have to start the bid really high for this thing. I mean, we had it like we had a 39.99 sticker on this before I put it on and now it's priceless. Jerry Houston dropping next to night and Joe emojis in the chat. The things Mark will do for likes. Oh yes, Joe 1 Mark 0. <laughs> exactly. Hey, Malastare said truly majestic. I will take it. You would if you didn't say Nexonites on it. Oh, that's right. That's true. You look like an angel. Oh, thank you, Lemur Bricks. That's awesome. I appreciate it. Most expensive minifigure. Yeah, let's look at some of Ethan's requests here. We got uh, most expensive clone trooper. We'll go look at it really quick. And most expensive minifigure. I'm pretty sure it's the Spider Woman from San Diego Comic Con. Why is everyone wearing tropical clothes? That's a great question, Marvel Kid. It is uh, Hawaiian Shirt Friday. So we all wear our Hawaiian shirts if we remember to bring them. So you got Michael's wearing one, Joe's wearing one, Daniel's wearing one, Randy's wearing one. Most of us are wearing those shirts and having a good time with that. So, so let's see. So a lot of these are sold out. Oops, sorry, Michael. Yeah. So I'm not seeing. Oh, no, here we go. $70 for the Phase 2. I think that's the um, Republic Commando. Somebody describe what that figure is to me. Because I remember seeing them with... Uh, they actually helped pick up Darth Vader with uh, Darth Sidious when Darth Vader... Or, excuse me, yeah, Darth Vader was defeated by Obi-Wan in the final uh, Episode 3 battle duel. So definitely let me know what their official name is. And then we'll go check out the... Uh, most expensive minifigure we have. 
as well. What a beautiful shelf of figs. Oh, thanks, Ant Band Ant Bandit. Um, I think it's a little bit bare right now. We need to restock Star Wars. Grumpy J, Mark is ready to join our Nexo army. I don't think so. I just wear the armor. I'm not a I'm not a card carrying Nexo Knight member yet. So. So this I think is our most expensive minifigure. It is at four thousand four hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. And that's Spider-Woman from San Diego Cuck-Con. So very, very expensive figure. We've actually uh, carefully removed her torso from her legs, lifted it off so that's not going to strain it or break it. Most of the Comic-Con figures are like that. So. Shock Trooper, that's the word. Coruscant Police Gunship, yes. Senate Commander Clone, Shock Trooper. Shock Trooper, thank you guys, thank you guys. My Lego knowledge on Star Wars and uh, Ninjago can be a little light sometimes. Let's see. Gotta go. Bye. See you, Lima Bricks. Thanks for joining us. Let's see. Can you show the ships, or have you done that already? We haven't done it yet, Herb, so we'll, uh, we'll check that out in a second. Robert, I need to glue more figs on his desk. <laughs> oh, no. Thoughts on the new ATTE? I think it's a pretty awesome set. I actually liked MNR's thoughts on it. I think he knows more about Lego Star Wars sets than I do. But um, yeah, I think it's a pretty good set. Definitely good seat. Co have you been collecting a lot of the new Black Falcons? I have a pretty good, I think you probably have 20 of them or so. So I think I'm pretty good with them. There's Chris McBricker. Good to see you, Chris. Thanks for joining us. Liking that green name tag and the Atlanta Brickco logo there. No sale of N Sir Mark's Nexo armor. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty sad if that happened. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. What was, uh, what was I going to come over to do? Tauntaun, yes. Let's look at Tauntauns. Um, let's see. Howdy, says Chris McBricker. Um, Wish Lego would make a Bantha animal fig. We could make the Lego Bantha meme go viral. Yes. Yes, Nexus. So much yes. So there's the Tauntauns back here. Flexible tails are 50. And rigid tails are 30. That sounds like a better deal. If you're not worried about the tail being uh, rubbery, you got a big price difference there. Those should be on the website. The code for those is that long code. Go ahead and screenshot that if you're able to. And there's the other one there. If you didn't see it in this video, the, the, um, the playback of this will be uploaded within about 40 minutes of the ending of the recording. So you'll be able to see that and get that code and type it in the website and maybe it'll come up. So. Coruscant Guard, gotcha. Coruscant Guard Shock Trooper is a Stormtrooper, yes. Thank you, guys. Well, we, uh, Marvel Kid was asking about Marvel, so we'll look at Marvel for a second. Currently building the Lego Harry Potter Burrows set. Nice. Thoughts on the new ATTE? I think I covered that a little bit, but yeah, good set for sure. Would you rather have four Galaxy Explorers or one Lion King's Castle? That's the question of the century, Ant Bandit. Ooh, gotta go with the castle. Although the Galaxy Explorers are definitely tempting. I've already pre-ordered two Galaxy Explorers and I'll probably have to get at least one castle too. If you could have any minifigure, what would it be or set? Oh, okay, I've got a great response for this, Ethan. Um, there was a prototype Lego castle figure with a blue visor that was super rare and was shown in some magazines in Europe. And uh, it exists. And it's out there somewhere, and it's basically priceless. So if I were to get any figure, that would be what it is. And I could put it with my yellow castle, because I already have that one. So that's what I would have. Any used Friends arcades yet? I can check on that, Chris. We'll go look over at the Friends section for a second. Spider-Man? Oh, yeah, we've got some Spider-Mans restocked. We showed these off earlier, but we've got plenty of them back. Including the uh, collectible Tobey Maguire versions. And then we've also got the old Goblin over there, too, for 180 The price has dropped a little bit on those. They were going for 200 250 Much better deal. Uh, four Galaxy Explorers because more Nexo Shields. Oh, no, Robert, no. No. Thank you for showing that. You're welcome, Ryan. Okay, let's settle this. Force Man or M-Trod? Force Man all the way. 
Emtron are amazing, but Forest Men have so many different colors. You can customize the plumes. They have different accessories. They have shields. Emtron have a little backpack, and that's it. So Forest Men all the way. There's Sevens Bricks. Hey again, ABC. Any good castle in? We've got a couple good castle sets. Not a ton right now. We just got a nice Black Falcon's Fortress built complete in. So that's pretty nice. Right now we're looking for Friends Arcades. But I'm not seeing it. I see a cafe. I see a pet shop. A couple Friends sets here. And he might have been talking about the Friends TV show, so I'm not sure. I have to go now. Have fun live stream. Thank you, Ryan. Thanks for joining us. We sure appreciate it. Can we look at newer castle? Let's go do that, jo Dr. Jaja. Do we have any Stranger Things minifigs? We might have a few customized ones, but not any of the main ones. Excuse me, guys. No, right. you're, you're good. I'm just gonna look at Stranger Things right there. So we've got the, the, some of the characters from Stranger Things dressed as the Ghostbusters for Halloween. I think that was season two. And then that's about it. I don't think we have any of the other Stranger Things figures right now. Oh, no, there's, uh, there's Joy Spires up there. So we got one. That's it. Thanks, guys. Excuse me. Yep. <laughs> Let's see. Mark is one of us. One of us. No, 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 Grumpy. Never. I'm not a Nixonite lover yet. I just have a casual appreciation for it. But do... You do need three new Galaxy Explorers if you want to build all three new versions. Bummer, you can't build both alt versions with just one extra set. You could probably bricklink a few of the pieces, though, so. How much for the New York City architecture? Let's go check on that. Do you have Commander Wolf? I don't think we do, Ethan. Sorry about that. I don't think we have Commander Wolf in stock right now. I, I was just over there, so. That's the one Star Wars minifigure I will ever want for real. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Commander Wolf was pretty awesome. Let's see. New York, New York, New York. There's Shanghai, Tokyo, Shanghai. I don't see New York here. Las Vegas. That's London. What is this, Buckingham Palace? Oh, no, the Las Vegas, of course. Yeah. So not seen New York. There's Paris, Dubai, some Chicago, Las Vegas, Venice. So don't see New York. There's Venice. What is that one? Is that Berlin? That looks like Berlin. A couple of Berlins. So no New York City. Let's see. Comments, comments, comments. Um, any city updates? Oh, for our um, display city? Not yet. Steven built the last one that was Star Wars themed. We'll go look at the city really quick. You got it right, Mark, on my request. I'll, I'll keep an eye out. I want two more of the new release. I'm making a mock. Very cool. Well, glad I had it correct. There's friends and friends makes it confusing. But thanks for checking with us, Chris. And uh, check back next time, too. We'll get more stuff. Oh, man, I missed this. Oh, it's okay, Henry. You, you made the last 10 minutes. The last and best 10 minutes of it. We still got some time. So the latest one that was made was the one by Steven here, the Star Wars Cantina. It's super cool. Very cool. I, I really like this build by Steven. Are the Ghostbusters Stranger Things kids customs? Yes, we made them here. I think it was John who made them. And they're pretty cool. Somebody uh, had them custom made, and then they ended up trading them back in about a year later. How's life? Life's pretty good, Ethan. How's, how's things with you? Pretty good? A lot of rain lately. I hope the sun comes back at some point. I want to get a tan. Do people sell Nexonites on Whatnot? Because I never see Nexonites on Whatnot before. Well, I mean, they're not super popular. So, you know, Nexonites, uh, they got a, they got some, they got some, uh, 
PR problems to work out. But eventually, I think people will. I missed the Black Symbiote San Diego Comic Con fig y'all had not too long ago. Hoping y'all get one eventually so I can see in person. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. Comic Con figures are pretty special. They make me nervous being around them. Darth Grumpy has spoken. Let me see. What did Darth Grumpy say? I feel the hate flowing through you on through the anger. Feed on the dark side and join the Nexo army. Oh no! Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Oh, somebody bought it. Look at that. There it's gone. Yeah, you gotta act fast. That U.S. exclusive pirate set is great too. Yes, that uh, I think it's this one here. It's pretty cool. In your Lego City was those minifigures from Wizard of Oz real or custom? I think there's just some real um, Wizard of Oz figures over here. How's it going, guys? Doing pretty good. Um, these are real. Yeah, these are Wizard of Oz characters from the Lego Movie 2. A little dusty, but still here. Oh, thanks, Steven. Nexus, that's because I buy them all. LOL. <laughs> yeah, we're, we we have a lot less Nexus nights than we did when we started doing live streams. I'll, I'll put it that way. Do you think video will go up in price? Some of it already has, and then some of it is going to be cheap as dirt still. So the first season, very cheap, overproduced. Second season, very expensive. They didn't make enough of it, and uh, they, they barely released it. Any Technic Star Wars sets? Let's go check on that. Technic Star Wars. We have time for a few more requests, so go ahead and drop those in the chat if you're looking for stuff. But uh, we've got time. we got about four minutes left. Technic Star Wars. Technic Star Wars. we got a fair amount of built Star Wars sets. Ooh, ooh, got to show this off. $300 large scale MTT. I don't think it would have any figures. No figures, but sure is cool. And let's see, not seeing any Technic on the top shelf. Any 90s Ninja yet? Haven't seen any in there. We have a few, but they're in the back, ready to be processed and put out. So they'll be out soon, Henry. They'll be out for sale soon. Mark, can you tell Joe that I got uh, Riddles for the Ring, Lord of the Rings set? I like to keep him updated on my collection. I'll tell Joe about your collection, Dr. Jaja. The Riddles for the Ring, that's the small Hobbit set with the cave and with Gollum, right? Very cool. All right, time to go and watch some whatnot. See y'all. See you, Corey. Good luck on there. If Corvette's bidding for it, let him have it. Do you have any Grievous Starfighters? That's a good question. Let's see. I'm pretty sure we don't have any boxed ones right now. Which is surprising, considering we did have quite a few of those at one point. But let's go look for Grievous Starfighters. Henry says, cool, yep. Good to get some info. Oh, there's a Grievous Starfighter. $39.99, and I'm not sure what version that is. I want to say it's the newer one. Yeah, that's the newer one. Much cheaper than when it first was released. I think the original retail was $80 on that. It is missing the figures, and the figures are cool, but... Let's see. What's next week's whatnot theme? Oh, I don't know. Let me ask Chris. That's a, we'll, we'll end on that for sure. That blue bomber by the MTT. Oh, yeah, let's see here. 139 for the Resistance Bomber. I don't think it would have any characters inside. We typically pull those out to sell separately. So, Resistance Bomber. Oh, I was talking to Corey, yes. Jerry Houston was asking about the Blue Bomber. Let's see. When you said large MTT, you mean like the Trade Federation MTT, i.e. the bigger, older, big one, yes. That's what I meant, Robert. It's the, I believe it's the older, older version of it. So thanks, Mark. Have to go. There's a phase two Captain Rex on the line. Go get it, Brick Virus. Uh, Daniel, what's the theme for next week's whatnot auction? Do we know? 
or possible. So Star Wars or Ninjago? Star Wars yeah, or Ninjago? Yeah, would you prefer Ninjago it's or Star Wars? Yeah, I don't I don't know. That's like either one would be good, but I know Grant would probably vote for Ninjago. You'd rather see Star Wars? Wow, okay. There's more like there's a lot more variety in Star Wars. Yeah. Steven got me hooked on watch system. Hey, did you hear that, Steven? Chris said, uh, Chris McBricker said, Steven got me hooked on watch system. Tell him I said thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Absolutely. Half and half, says Grumpy Jay. Yeah, there we're mixed here too. But on that, on that controversial note, we're going to end the live stream for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like button and comment. And if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. We have so many cool videos coming out on the channel all the time. In fact, me and Daniel are about to have a discussion on Lego Ninja. Not Ninjago, Lego Ninja from 1998 and 1999. That setup is beautiful. Yes, it is. It's over there. Sneak peek. All right, see you guys. Have a wonderful weekend.